I'm the Strategy and Technology Director for the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority and I've worked in the nuclear sector for nearly 30 years. I'm an Accounts Assistant, I work for Direct Rail Services, I've worked there for nearly three years. I work uh, on the Sellafield Nuclear Site on the box encapsulation plant as a pre-operations engineer. I'm a pressure system engineer. I've worked in the nuclear industry at Sellafield for 35 years. I'm a health and safety manager and I've worked in the nuclear industry for 19 years. I'm the head of environment, health, safety and quality for International Nuclear Services. I've worked in the nuclear industry for just over three months. I'm married. I have two children, mostly grown up now. One's left university, one about to go. I'm 39 years old. I'm married with two children aged 11 and 9. I've been with my wife, we've been married 10 years, we've been together 20 years. Uh, we have a three-year-old son. I'm married and I've got one son and three stepdaughters and uh, three grandchildren. I'm married, um, my husband's also a scientist and we've got a son who's eight years old who keeps us both on our toes most of the time. I'm 43, I have two children and I live in Preston. When I'm not at work, I have a small flock of Herdwick sheep, about 250, and I have a small herd of about 15 goats, which we breed competitively. Previous to my back injury, I was a very active person. I was brought up by a river, and I really love canoeing and swimming. I also enjoy yoga. I like to try and keep fit, spend time with family, and try to do as much running as possible. In my spare time, I like to restore vintage cars. Uh, sport is the main thing, like I say, I'm getting outdoors, but especially having a three-year-old son, just love any sport at all, but mainly football, just where you can connect. So in my spare time, I teach Pilates, partly to keep myself fit, but also to help other people stay fit and healthy. I suffered situational depression, which started due to a back injury. I assumed after the surgery that I would feel happier again and it would lift me out of the depression. But two weeks after my operation, my dad got diagnosed with cancer and I think the whole year previous trauma hit me all at once like a sledgehammer. Twenty years ago I started to have some problems with um, my emotional health and well-being. It's still with me today. It's good days, bad days. It's something to accept and I just try and use what I've learned to help other people. I've suffered from depression all my life. Um, as a young man, suffered very badly, a number of attempted uh, attempts at suicide. Um, treated with medication, um, not anymore. I now manage it through, through other means. But it's a constant companion um, ever since I can remember. I've suffered from PTSD for the last 17 years. Um, it basically started um, after a while after my mum died because um, she suffered from depression and after she died it was just a case of well you couldn't talk about it now in my daily life it's blew, it's gone into post-traumatic stress disorder from being depression because I couldn't reach out and ask for help. So my dad had vascular dementia and um, unfortunately with it actually became quite violent so he was actually sectioned for a while and it had a real impact on us as a family, obviously, to watch him suffering. I suffered from some mental health issues during a number of life-changing events where I lost family members uh, through illness, I lost my job, I uh, was made homeless, and I went through a divorce all in the space of 18 months. I'm Rowena Miller, this is me. I'm Mark Hudson, and this is me. I'm Steve Waldron, and this is me. I'm Elizabeth Atherton, and this is me. I am Ian Perry and this is me. I am Adrian Simper and this is me.